Hey everybody, I want to welcome you back to the channel State of Charge, where we talk about solar power, web technology, and life stories. Now in today's video, I want to talk about content protection, specifically as it relates to a term called HDCP. Now I have a very small studio here, and I like to plug in my Apple TV directly into my computer using an HDMI capture card. And so you may have heard of those from Elgato, I have a Magwell, and I really like it because I can also use it to capture video directly from um, my, my camera, my GoPro, or my iPhone. Whatever I want to do, I can capture that video right into my computer. Well, I can also do that with an Apple TV or something like um, an Amazon Fire Stick. However, when you have it plugged into something like that, you are going to get content error message saying that you cannot play this content over this HDMI device. And that can be quite frustrating because I don't want another monitor in my studio. I want to just be able to plug it right into my capture card, right into my computer monitor that I'm already using for my other things, use uh, QuickTime, and watch the video as I'm working. But I can't do that in some instances. So let's go ahead and watch this. Okay, so as you can see here in the screen, I have my Apple TV connected right into my computer. You can see my control panel up here at the top. Um, so I am looking at exactly what you would see an Apple TV connected to a TV monitor uh, directly here on my computer screen because I'm using the HDMI capture card. Now, if I use my Apple remote here and I go down to Netflix, Let's just go ahead and see if we can watch something uh, right here. Let's go to the home screen. Let's just go ahead in here and play The Crown. And let's see what happens as this begins to start playing and coming in over the internet. Okay, so this message pops up and it says this video cannot be played. It looks like your HDMI cable or connection doesn't support HDCP, which is required to play this type of video. Try reconnecting the HDMI cable from Apple TV to your TV and play this video again. So, all right, well, let, what, let's look at this. Um, what is HDCP? Wikipedia says high bandwidth digital content protection, HDCP, is a form of digital copyright protection developed by Intel to prevent copying of digital audio and video content as it travels across connections. Well, this is for things like um, DisplayPort or DVI, HDMI, and older things like GVIF and UDI. Well, what if I just want to go ahead, I mean, I'm not copying this. I'm not going to create a digital version of this that I'm going to store and redistribute, right? All I want to do is just play this content on my monitor while I'm working without having another monitor to deal with and other HDMI cables, all those things to, to contend with because my space is so compact. I just want to have it on my external monitor and I just want to watch content while I'm working. Well, that is exactly what we're going to show you how to do in this video and it uses this device. <laughs> as I'm getting really noisy here. It uses this device, which is a $25 device that you can find on Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video. We're gonna plug this in. I'm gonna show you what this looks like and you're gonna be able to see how we use this device through the capture card and watch content right on your computer that would otherwise be copyright protected and unavailable to you. So stay tuned, let's watch that and see how it works. Okay, I have the HDMI capture card and the HDMI splitter. Now really what this device is designed to do is to have one HDMI coming in and splitting it into two different um, outputs. So if you wanted to put it into like audio output or video output or have dual monitors so that it's displaying the same thing from monitor to monitor, all this is designed to do is take the video of one HDMI and split it into two signals. Well, with that device, that is just putting out raw video file. No encryption, no encoding, uh, none of the information that is causing that content protection error to show up. So let's go ahead and look. I have now on my screen once again, I'm on just the home screen for my Apple TV. Let's scroll down here to Netflix 
and let's turn that on and let's go ahead and play the crown again and I'm only going to just show this for just one quick second uh, so that you guys can see that I'm not getting that error and that uh, I don't want to get into any content protection issues here with with um, with uh, YouTube. So as you can see there, that is now starting to play. I can come down here and get the subtitles and the audio and all of that sorts of information. So now when I'm working uh, at my studio here inside my shed, I don't have to have another monitor. I don't have to have other cables. All I really have to have is my HDMI capture card, which I already use all the time because I'm doing it with video. All I need then is just that tiny little HDMI splitter that is going to let me watch the content on my computer screen. Again, I'm not trying to distribute this information. I'm not trying to do anything illegal with it. All I want to do is watch that content on my computer screen while I'm working. I have my Bluetooth headset on and it's in the background. I can focus and I can do some other things. Without that HDMI splitter, I am unable to do that. So if this is something that you want to do, go ahead and try that HDMI splitter. I'll have all of the links down below for the products that I use personally. And there are things that are out there on Amazon and other places where you could probably get it a little less expensive. But the affiliate links below, um, if you use those, it'll help the channel out and it'll show you exactly how I'm doing it. So I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful for you. Please go ahead and like, subscribe, hit that bell. We have all kinds of content like this that's quick, down dirty, simple, and is going to help you not only with your solar projects, but your web and technology projects. And every once in a while, we create an amazing life story that we like to share with everybody. And so considering uh, being a part of the channel, uh, state of charge, and we will talk to you all next time. Thanks for being here today.